data administration in Zoho Recruit. Administrators can utilize data administration within Zoho Recruit to review all the data relevant activities or configurations happening in their Zoho Recruit account. Now to access data administration, navigate to setup on the right top corner. And in here, you have an entire dedicated portion for data administration, where the first option is data migration. So data migration can be utilized in instances where an organization is migrating from a different ATS to Zoho Recruit or from one of their Zoho Recruit organizational accounts to another Zoho Recruit organizational account. Apart from this, if there are any spreadsheet based imports happening or if there are any data migrations happening, organizations can review the status of that import and the import history within the import history section of data migration. You then have export where organizations can export data based on custom views available on their Zoho Recruit account and they can also determine whether they would like to export the notes, attachments and tabular records as well. And whenever an export happens, the system generates a download link and sends it to the user who has initiated the export process. The user can use that link to download the information. You then have data backup which is a whole data backup for your Zoho Recruit account, which can either be triggered as a one-time process by simply clicking on submit, or if you're on the enterprise edition and you would like to automate this data backup to be generated on a timely basis, you can set the frequency here. And once you set the frequency, you can determine when should this particular data backup end or how long would you like to have this data backup running for. So once you click on submit, automatically based on the frequency, a download link is sent to the user who initiates this data migration process and the user can use that link to download the information onto your local system. You then have storage within data administration which gives you a breakdown of the different sections where data is going to be occupied on your Zoho Recruit account based on different files, templates or on a user basis as well. You then have recycle bin where if there are any records that are deleted from any of the modules, they stay in the recycle bin for up to 60 days. And after 60 days, they are automatically deleted. In the interim, if the user changes their mind, they can always choose to restore the information onto the respective module as well by selecting the record and clicking on restore. Or they can choose to permanently empty the recycle bin by clicking on empty recycle bin or delete against the respective records. Apart from this, users also have access to an audit log where they can see all the different changes that have been happening on their account with respect to the configurations on a given module or their Zoho Recruit. And under the activity log section, users can review all the data changes happening on various records of the system as well. Now on both the audit log and the activity log, the data can be filtered by specific entities which are modules or by specific users, by specific actions or based on a timeline as well. And within the activity log, data can again be filtered based on users, the timeline or the type of activity as well. These logs can also be exported from the system in an Excel, CSV or PDF format for reference. So this is data administration in Zoho Recruit.